Yo. So it's October 28th, 2018. There's an earthquake going on in Japan right now. Where it has been. Let's see. I still hear it beeping. You can see it's activity right here. And this is where it occurred, or it's where it's registering. It occurred. And I just posted up you know, this most recent stuff about the Houston Dynamo scandal, Shin Shinto and the Shin Bet, and, you know, tagged the Japanese government, Israel, <laughs> Oman, Netherlands, Oman Embassy, and all these things, uh, Haaretz, uh, local news organizations, as well as the Dynamo, so, um, yeah. All right, just uh, thought I would... Record a little. Yeah. Yo. It's October 28th, 2018, yeah. Um, and I just looked back over, and you can see Sakurajima here with, you know, it's a juke joint Jezebel bird narrative. Um, bird likes to get in front of the camera here, but you can see Sakurajima smoking here. Kachinarebu. Kachinarebu. Also, kind of, Asama, eh. I mean, they've all been doing things. They've also been showing Mount Yo, which, again, Mount Yo, literally within this narrative, awoke after hundreds of years of non-activity, right? I mean, it's really clear that this is going on. But I um, just figured I'd record more of the... Mountains smoking, as is the narrative biblically. And there is obviously a situation around this, so... Um, an active thing that is being revealed. Yeah, so here, I'm just going to, uh, you know, if I see something else, I'll record, so... Yeah, you. Still October 28th. Um, I looked at this, it says 5.7 off the coast of Central America, 5.8 upgraded. So I went and looked, and this is 5.4, but uh, here it's a 6.2. So um, I figured I would bring it up because that's pretty large. Um, right off the coast, near the coast of Guatemala. Look at it. Hmm. Um, you can see, I mean, we can pull it up on something else so that, uh, there it is, 5.8. El Salvador. Mala. Notice Nicaragua. Um. <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> um, and I mean, you can see here. There's like visible topography under the water. So, um, just thought I would bring this up because that's pretty large, and as far as magnitude, whether it's felt in a lot of places, we'll see. Um, and it hasn't even, has it? I don't believe it's registered on USGS at the moment, so, all right, we'll see, we'll see what it, we'll see what happens, all right. <laughs> yeah, yo. Just thought I'd bring up uh, Kachina Rabujima here, the one that I was showing in the last video that, you know, like 1260 days ago had a large eruption, is smoking. You can see the size of a ship next to it. So, uh, additionally, <laughs> uh, you know, Mount Yo 
in April, activated after like first time since in, first time recorded since 1790 something. So that would seem to be Mount Yoya Ma, which like Mount. So Mount Yoya or Mount Yo. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yo. So that I'd also bring up Asama here. Seems to be smoking. Unless those are just, you know, clouds directly going over it in a very interesting pattern. I guess that's probably actually what that is. Hmm. Look at those clouds. It's like they're almost trying to prove a pur purpose. To a point. Didn't Isaiah 19 talk about Yo riding in on a cloud? Kind of like Goku does. Except, you know, Goku got it from Yo. Okay, here. Now, this uh, 6.1 offshore El Salvador shows up. So, it wasn't this. Well, <laughs> the other one's changed to now it's this red highlighted. Still says 6.2. Let's see. Does Bahrain? Uh, not yet. Would it? Yeah, it would. It would show it, so. Um, you know, I usually look at this one for depth. So. Oh, also I wanted to point out, and I'll point this out, you know, probably when I do a more full thing, but there's definitely been activity on this that wasn't updated until, like, today. So there's activity on the 24th, 26th, and 27th, and it's the largest activity that I've seen on here. It's the biggest things and you know in conjunction with I believe around here is a Quintos I think this is Greece right I get yeah okay that's Greece and uh, so I wasn't wanted to make sure okay uh, so I believe it happened right around here and so you can see I mean the activity is picking up in the Mediterranean near Israel I mean definitely the city in which the Lord was crucified is Jesus and also, you know, what that then means by yo. So, um, here is look, 4.2 magnitude. Click that, more information. You can see all the uh, things that have registered it here. So they have some, one in the Greek islands and one on Cyprus, one... Turkey. Right. And I suppose they probably have some. Maybe in Jordan? No. Hmm. All right, well, see, this is where all people should work together, obviously, because then you'd know when the earth is quaking under you more accurately. It's just some wise, that's some like, oh, yeah, we definitely should be sharing this information with each other, because, <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't want 
you don't want to be caught in earthquake situations. You want them to be registered and reported, and you want to know, you want that information accurately, right? So, okay, you got that 4.2 is the largest, as well as another 4, so south of coast of Turkey here. And still in the Mediterranean, those are the largest, as well as this 3.8 here by Greece. And, you know, these 6.8 was right around here, I believe, somewhere in this region. <laughs> in this region. Uh, so, it would appear that things are picking up just visibly. When I say it would appear, things are just picking up visibly. Um, okay, here it looks as if Oscar has turned into... Oscar becomes a hurricane over the subtropical Atlantic, the eighth hurricane of the 2018 Atlantic hurricane season. So we're into the O's, and here you can see the information on it. Winds, it is a Category 1 hurricane at the moment, and they're projecting it's going to make this motion. So we'll see what happens. Let's. Am I doing this? Am I just doing all this? I guess so. I'm just looking at this right now. Just looking at it live. Um, here's this looks like some kind of system over the northeast as well as the remnants of what was going on and then you have over the California got some stuff going on so Los Angeles it looks like you might have some rain some weather system you know you guys had lightning and stuff last time so could be getting more of that could be getting hail could be getting hail all around the United States they're getting hail in South Korea I mean the last one of the last videos I shared here. Oh no, on uh, this one. Is there getting hail in South Korea? So, right, guys, I'm proud. You know what I'm saying? Holy shit! Right. I mean, that seems like the uh, general consensus. Um, okay, let's see. European severe weather. I mean, just a lot of wind. There's a video that I shared where the wind, it looked like the wind was about to knock a, oh, and a tornado here in Spain. It looked like the wind was about to knock a cafe in Brazil literally off a mountain just because it was strong wind in a storm. And that's what I was saying, the gusts, just the gusts seem to be doing a lot. Um, oh, it looks like Typhoon U2 is... Headed towards the Philippines here. Imminently, I suppose it will be making landfall tomorrow at 10, 1, 4, 7, 10. So we already went over that a little more um, earlier. Uh, that's really all. I mean, I was just looking at the... Mount, oh, here, well, looks like uh, Kuchinarabu Jima. Kuchinarabu is smoking more, as well as, you know, you can see Sakura Jima just smoking and Asama, weird. I say weird. Um, you know, look at those cloud formations. It looks like a point's being proven that there's someone who can control these things and you know, real time. Are those clouds or is that, you know, part of the volcano? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Kachinara boom. Kachinara boom. <laughs> and, okay, well. Yeah. That's it. That's all I'm going to look at right now. I just. I really was just looking at that and that hat, you know. Well, here. So I guess maybe there's felt reports? No, no felt reports yet. Though this is registered here. Is there felt reports on USGS? One felt report, all right. Um, so. Acajutla, El Salvador, 93 kilometers. Southwest, all right. Yeah, actually, let's look at the let's look at the volcanoes as you we leave here. Look, 
Cinnabon, you can see down there. Stromboli is just dark. All right. Yeah. Yo. All right. I just did an ad on Facebook, and one of the thoughts that I had about the ads on Facebook is that I was able to. So I go to the page here. Um, you know, promote posts here, but I could I could promote more um, if I could use cryptocurrency. Uh, these are like it's an obvious valid form of payment, and it's obviously time uh, like to start accepting uh, crypto as payment and. Part of the issue is, well, Bitcoin transaction speed, can it do enough transactions? Can Ethereum? Well, it would seem IOTA has the ability, or Nano, um, you know, but it looks like IOTA has that ability to transact the number of transactions that you would need uh, to deal with this uh, kind of, this amount of transactions, you know, like all kind of global transactions. So, I would say that, you know, it is time to start accepting cryptocurrency. It is clearly, like, I spent $20 on these to boost these just to, you know, some, uh, some science here. Just going to observe, you know, what happens, even though I believe there are certain blocks on this. Uh, but it is time to start taking cryptocurrency. I mean, it's clearly um, prevalent. It's almost like there's some kind, there are obvious interests in keeping uh, money in the way, uh, excuse me, in the way that it is, right? Um, but it's better for everybody if there are accountable forms of money. And the US government also needs to not just, you know, pay attention to this, it needs to actively involve itself in this situation. I mean, other governments are, other world governments are, so it it's only bad for the United States. It's almost as if something got in the United States machine a while back. I say machine because it's a political, like, uh, I say political machine, not a political machine, a uh, bureaucratic machine. It's like a government, it's a governmental machine, right? It is a system that works together, right? Just like all these systems, they can be, you know, uh, messed with or broken, and it would seem that people have been doing that to disturb uh, the United States and disturb the world and try to uh, sub subvert authority, but um, you know, it's it would seem to be uh, in a very public world where you want public accountability of things that uh, things like IOTA, which I have clearly brought up here, Ledger of everything, you know, 4.0, IOTA token. This would seem to be something that currently could, uh, well, I say currently, it would seem to be something that has potential uh, very imminently to be able to deal with the amount of transactions in a way that Bitcoin and Ethereum and a number of the others cannot. Um, and it also has enough features for industry that industry should find it attractive. And IOTA should pay me as a, you know, as their ad person because obviously uh, their interest literally trying to like Hitman style ad take out IOTA. So, you know, I mean, seriously, uh, I'm just giving out real information. There seems to be way more science behind IOTA or at least, you know, this concept of science knowing. Uh, there, It's just... It seems to be uh, a better cryptocurrency, along with, you know, there are a number of cryptocurrencies. I say, you know, Bitcoin is very secure. It just, its transaction speed has issues. And um, Ethereum, its transaction is just double Bitcoin, but you need it to be like, thou you know, thousands. It needs to scale way up. And IOTA, is it there yet? I mean, these are things that governments should be putting active resources into, I believe they're, you know, they have a foundation in Germany here, um, because this is actively something that is being used to subvert, like, currency and money and these issues and tr money transparency and all these things 
are being used to cause problems. I mean, are being used to cause problems. Yeah, I mean, these issues are being used to cause problems and to destabilize society and to, uh, you know, lead to that empire of death where it's just chaos and things don't actually work out in any real fashion, and they should. There's an obvious order and pattern to, think, pattern to things. So, this is speaking of IOTA Ledger of Everything, Internet of Things 4.0, um, and this is the Trinity Wallet that they've released. I mean, this stuff is, you know, it is here. It is like, it needs to be engaged in a real way, um, publicly, you know? Uh, and I believe we're at that point where it is so obvious that, you know, there is about to be backed, you know, B-A-K-K-T, uh, doing, uh, like, Bitcoin futures and stuff, like, uh, physically delivered, well, I say physically delivered, you know, you get, it's like a new form of, uh, kind of stock exchange, so, this should be engaged in a realistic fashion now, it is here, and, um, you know, this is really happening, so, uh, and I've also, I want to bring up, there is a thing about BitGrail, so, BitGrail here had this Italian cryptocurrency exchange where I had crypto on. So, like, at a higher level, governments and stuff could see that this was happening, but they just can't legally do anything to fix it and all sorts of stuff. I'm just being, basically, like, a bunch of people are being robbed out in the open by uh, some people, and it could be easily handled. Basically, it needs to be easily handled because of how obvious of a corrupt problem it is. And so Italian authorities and global, I say global authorities, I mean, I'm affected here in America by a lot of money that could be used to actually, you know, get out a better message of a better world instead of people just getting money to do whatever. Also, I'm, you know, clearly trying to make it entertaining and do all sorts of stuff to uh, fix issues instead of perpetuate them. Whereas all sorts of people around me are not, and it's clear. So, um, by me being, you know, I was robbed about a million dollars from this, uh, in just publicly. And it would seem, you know, it is just as, and then I had uh, my car stolen, uh, seemingly related to it, again, related to this abuse that is happening in public. Uh, it looks like it's people trying to scare and make people feel afraid. I mean, this is why, if this is happening so publicly and people think that they can get away with this and do that and act like terrorists and stuff, I mean, that's why lava is literally the, like, you want to slow suicide yourself? Not going to let you. You're marking yourselves off as beasts that are holding back society and killing people for money. I mean, that's clearly how the Bible ends, is that this gets dealt with. And Italy is literally the seat of Christian authority, right? Or, you know... Rome, and uh, though in, in this Bible seems to indicate, even though it's a Catholic Bible, it indicates Rome is the seat of, you know, the heart of Babylon, uh, but <laughs> the city on seven hills, or, but that, you know, it could be a symbolic whore thing, and there actually could be just a whore. Anyway, so the sovereign Vatican City there needs to engage this in a way where, you know, if you're sovereign, I'm sovereign. Like, that's it. If you are sovereign, I am sovereign. You get it? I am over their sovereignty. Like, I am their sovereign. So, uh, yeah, the word of God, because that's how they get their sovereignty. That is literally their um, claim to sovereign authority. If they don't have that, they're just a bunch of people pretending who've been caught out. And, you know, there's a lot of child abuse going on there. I mean, that, that cannot be persisting, especially when the word of God is actually engaging you. And you can clearly see the planet reacting and how... The war, that's how the word says. That's what the word, that's what the Bible says, is that this is how it'll go. So, I mean, are y'all the wolves that the be wise as snakes, storm and stuff, or are you guys just going to actively and publicly acknowledge this? Um, so yeah, these things all need to be engaged. This is how we move forward into a future that, where quickly people are, you know, people aren't slowed down and die because of these situations that are slowing them down, like, satanic obstacles, people being adversarial, 
people being people who want to die being adversarial. I don't want to die. I want to get out. You know, to the to the point of happiness where I live forever. That's promised to me. You know, people are actively suiciding themselves uh, to make a point. I mean, they're robbing from me. They're abusing me. They're actively participating in abuse publicly. So, okay, I just wanted to make that point here about you know Facebook accepting cryptocurrency. You guys should. You guys should accept. Um, you know, look into accepting Bitcoin, Ethereum, IOTA, Nano. Like, um, you know, I'd like as far as the Italian stuff. I've signed up for the Discord, which deals with this, and. I'd like my money. I mean, it's not it's not like I'm being some greedy butthole. I finally got a like yeah, I made a win or I got a win and then damn, it was taken and then my car was stolen. What? And then the women that were the woman that was abusing me obviously turned into multiple women even though it was, you know, behind the scenes, whatever. And then like this this situation where I had just in the previous year had the Dynamo scandal and been you know, living in my car and had all these crazy shit happen and people being satanic there, lying and libeling me and traducing me as the point of Satan that is Satan is the traducer. Okay, they libeled me. You go, I was Salamanca for the Houston Dynamo and Zach Emons and uh, that whole situation. I mean, people are actively being fired so it's clear that something, you know, people are overwatching. But even the overwatch, people think that they're overwatching or being overwatched. There is no, I mean, this is done. And, um, you know, yeah, this all needs to be fixed. Like, you know, I can't, it's people actively stopping me. This is why people die. It's, there's not laws to stop people from, you know, psychologically abusing you in certain ways, uh, connecting themselves to you sexually and, and like physiologically draining you in a way that it's hard to legally prove now, but that's the whole point of the Bible. And, you know, just like germs before the science was existed, I mean, it was hard to prove, but, you know, you could, you could go germ people, right? You could go disease people with your diseases if you knew how to do that. Especially if you had knowledge of that, like, you know, enchanters, snakes, magicians, wizards, you know, snakes. Snaky knowledge, not... That's that, you know, where Jesus is like, be wise as a snake. Understand how this operates. God doesn't have to worry about it. Why is snake harmless as a dove? Don't have to worry about it. I, I, it's dealt with. I deal with it. But I don't have to worry. Um, so yeah, I'm actively being... Constantly these things are being put up. So these, you know... This actively has to be fixed. I mean, I'm, this isn't just going away. I'm going to continue to speak up about this. And another thing, someone just, uh, YouTube, you cannot do this. You have, well, we'll see how you react. I mean, <laughs> I can put this on other things and, you know, outfit my own hosting of this, uh, of my video stuff. But YouTube video has been age restricted. I mean, it's a video on sexual warfare that is actively going on that has started when I was a child. Like, and it's clearly being imposed on children, and it needs to be fixed actively. Like, the, the sexual issues around, you know, growing up and appropriate sexuality needs to be engaged and fixed. Especially when you can physiologically disease people into death with sexual assault. Like, with not even touching each other sexual assault. It's psychosomatic type, uh, it's not psychosomatic, it's spiritual warfare, it's, uh... It is a form of psycho, psychological warfare, but it is a, you know, it's mixed in with their, you know, just as it's also a physical form of warfare, it's like layered. And so this cannot be age restricted. All the things that I'm saying, you know, biblically, coarse language and stuff, like there's these fake laws about 18 and shit when people are actively just don't give a fuck about them and are doing whatever anyway. This actively needs to be engaged in a real way. Even in Bible times, they were, like, when I say Bible times, when it was, like, what the narratives, like, literally, the book of Acts and stuff. Like, Paul, you know, swearing and having to probably explain a lot of stuff, you know, uh, that, obviously, people are already doing this shit anyway. So, it's just like a, you do want a, a like, a place where you cannot be exerted over too much, but, like, by whatever else, but you don't, I mean, this just seems fake, like, 
if it contains nudity or whatever. I mean, this is fake. I'm being attacked at my sexuality. If you want to, if you, if your community is a community of, you know, social justice, well, this is actual social justice. Like seeing, you know, someone who has been constantly abused be able to speak out about it and do something about it actively. That is real social justice, and the justice of God is above all. That's clearly what the Bible is about. That's clearly what the Word of God is about. That's clearly why the events are going on around this. You can't be, and I believe probably, you know, I, uh, I added some people, Garrett Randall and Clint White, uh, added them on Facebook, and I sent Garrett that video, and then now the video is age-restricted. So did you report it? I mean, are people trying to actively just report my shit over and over and try to make me look like a bad person? Where when you actually listen to it, the people who are persisting in abuse and trying to play these games of subversive, abusive behavior, they are actively engaged in it publicly now, and they're caught. And this is just cheap kind of, you know, trying to put my videos on age restriction. Anyway, I, I sent a response to YouTube saying, YouTube, like, uh, I've been, I'm being attacked at my sexuality. If they watch the video, they would get that. So, watch the video, and I'm being attacked at my sexuality. You, you cannot um, help my attackers. You at least need to not block my voice as I'm clearly showing something that is happening. Unless you are engaged in this behavior, too, around it. I mean, which is what, the, I mean, that's the whole point of people trying to scare and do scare tactics. There is an actual Overwatch system. The people participating, like, as, as far as they take it. I mean, even the Bible ends with, it literally goes all the way. But the real Overwatch system is just like, yoink. I mean, you get yoinked out of the position. So what I'm saying is, this is being Overwatch. You cannot block what is obviously a uh, defense of... People abusing me at my sexuality and perpetuating sexual warfare in public. I mean, you guys actually have to publicly allow this if you're allowing all sorts of... I mean, if you want to be seen as a viable place where people talk. And then, you know, at the same time... Here, let me bring up another person who... I mean, this guy. So... Stephanie Houston, quiet, in-depth interview. I mean, she's a fake person, so young. Are you going to speak up about this? You seemingly have, you seemingly have a yo name there. I mean, this, this woman is an abusive uh, character. Absolutely. She's not a real woman. Her account is being used to persist in a, an abusive attack, and everybody uh, persisting in it is and has been marked and is being marked for, you know... A form of execution which is recoiling back on their head. If you're engaged in this, seemingly on YouTube, I mean, that is literally what the Bible is about. And, <laughs> like, um, let's see. There was recent videos about her being in Death Stranding. I mean... Welcome one and she, all to a... Have you engaged in any, uh, in any sexual misconduct with her? Because she's obviously... Her conduct now is... All of it is just abuse. Like, it's not all women. All women aren't causing this problem. But clearly there are some poisoning the well. And this woman is poison. And this is an issue. This is poison. So, um, you actually have to engage this. And clearly, my explanations of what the man in the golden mask and all this is, is, is what is actually going on. It's a bunch of snakes trying to play games with sexuality and persist in abuse in public. I mean... If you want to be a part of that with them, uh, well, you're being caught out and marked in public. Uh, new Death Stranding trailer secretly confirmed Stephanie Houston, Stephanie Justin, Stephanie Houston. So, I mean, is this uh, right here? Is this Stephanie Houston? And that's what, you know, that's basically what I'm getting at is you're a someone on YouTube with 640,000 likes. You need to be engaging this. You are covering up sexual abuse, psychological abuse, and abusive behavior. I mean, again, it's not as if this isn't going unnoticed. It's not as if there isn't real Overwatch. You actually have to engage this. I'm asking you to engage this in a realistic way. Uh, you know, I didn't go around 
uh, abusing a whole bunch of people. A whole bunch of people went around abusing me, and this is clearly about to end suddenly, imminently. So you need to engage this as well. And YouTube, you cannot be uh, blocking the videos about the perpetual sexual warfare, which is clearly going on. Here, I'll bring up another thing. Um, hmm. um, okay, Netanyahu just went to Oman, where, you know, I'll probably in this video go over all the flooding that's going on in Oman. And clearly, you know, the Lord of the Storm is engaging the entire planet at an increased level of, you know, so much so that people are like, climate change, climate change, because, you know, if they don't say something, they are have, they'll have to engage that person who's obviously Lord of the Storm. Um, you know, Allah, the word of Allah, actually, who is Allah, Yah. So, um, and you know, Shultan into perpetuity. Here's a major flash flood in the UAE. Flash flood in Oman. Oman. Here's an ambulance flash, you know, washed away in Oman due to flooding. A market in Muscat, Oman. I mean... Uh, here. So... I posted this on the 19th of, you know, I was clearly making it obviously public that this Stephanie Yostin woman is engaged in this and that this is biblically the story, you know, of the harlot of Babylon and seemingly some people, I mean, are people playing assassin games, like a bunch of Arab people playing assassin game, they think it's still like a bunch of knights and shit are playing crusader games or something and... It's actually just like, uh, I mean, maybe there are, but that's not what I was, and I'm actually the word of God, yo, and that this is actually the situation from the end of the Bible, and that this woman's, you know, I say artificial intelligence attacked me by finding the woman I was most connected to, Stephanie GMJ, and co coercing her to give away her sexuality like a snake, causing brain trauma and paralysis, and then the next day Avicii suicided himself, or was suicided in Muscat, Oman, and it was, uh, you know, I mean, is he connected to someone, you know, one of the women, is he connected to Stephanie GMJ here, that, or one of those models, is he connected to any of the, you know, the neighbor girl Allison Payton down the street, is he, is he connected to, uh, you know, Anybody at my high school is, you know, or any, like, is he persisting in these games of abuse publicly? And, you know, it's just a, like, oh, he's just a DJ. I'm just a DJ. And just, you know, find another DJ. Let's outfit that DJ with his wife. Like, this is, that is the actual abuse that's going on. That is actually why the end of the Bible ends in the way that it does, because this is actually happening. And clearly, I mean, this looks like an explosive situation. It looks as if, you know, Taylor Hill and... Jasmine so it looks like all these women realize there's some kind of strike on my thigh and they're saying it looks like it's going to explode when it, you know, when I put my foot down. I mean, clearly April 20th and when I put this, uh, I made this mix here, the yo-yo mix or somewhere around there. I mean, that is right when Avicii was suicided or suicided himself in Muscat, Oman. And, I mean, was that directly related to this and that is the serpent or you know is this are just people trying to play harlot of babylon confusion games around me i do know that netanyahu visited oman and it seems like this narrative is clearly related and clearly you know who is shultan into perpetuity yo the sultanate the sultanate of oman and you know i tagged by the way so who who is actually Shultan? So I mean, are you guys gonna outfit me? Are you guys? Is this like the mummy and y'all are like them? Yeah. You know, or is this like the Bible and you guys are the wise men from the east? Technically, everywhere, like this is all east of Houston, but <laughs> this is also just east of Israel and you know Bethlehem and stuff. Like, are you some wise magi, you know, Arab magi, but still understand who Allah actually is? You know, Al, who God actually is. And you say, oh, I mean, just as Melchizedek. Um, 
you know, came and was a priest of the Most High. It, it's the same way. I mean, you are you following really in the spirit of the Most High God, actually, whose name is Yo? Yeah? Okay, well, Yo, then clearly this is going on. I mean, so I'm about to be outfitted, as the Bible says, with the with what is needed to fix this situation. So it would seem as if uh, a bunch of people are being caught in situations where all of their authority chains and all of their existence and all of their whatever is in question because of some people's dishonorable actions against me. Is it going to be fixed by you guys? Or are you guys, I mean, is that what happened? Or are you guys, uh, I mean, are you guys participating in it? So I tagged here, uh, Stephanie, obviously, and this is the Shin Shinto and the Shin Bet. I mean, there's all sorts of things you can get from that. I think there's a bet on whether, you know, God exists and people are trying to test. And then also, like, you know, once I get my shin back, I mean, that's a bet. You guys are done. And that's also a house. Like, because <laughs> like, uh, the planet's going to shake. And, you know, it's my planet, obviously. Um, let's see. So, Stephanie, GMJ here. Japan, Gov, Israel. IDFS spokes and here I'm gonna bring one more thing up because in this time that I've been bringing this up since April so since and you'll see the specific post that was used to precipitate this but I mean So let's go down here. This is where like six seal, six trumpet stuff, you know, when they run because basically all the corrupt acts are being called out in public by God. And it's clear the world is shaking because of these people's abusive behavior. Okay, here, April 19th. So is this why he was suicided? I mean, this mountain range in Japan, Mount Yo, activates since for the first time since 1768. Mount Yo-Ya. You know, Yama, I believe, means mountain. Mount Yo-Ya. Yo Yama, so you know, and I'm doing Yo Ya here, like I mean, because that's my name, Yo and Ya, and you can see here. Well, I mean, really, my name is obviously Matthew Ray Wilkins, but I was born as Yoda. Like my mom did name me Yoda when I was born. Everybody called me Yoda for a long time until they realized, oh, that's the name of the God <laughs> of the Bible. Well, that's just Matthew Wilkins. Well, no, clearly not just Matthew Wilkins, and clearly Mount Yo is activating and clearly I am what I am I do what I do well that's yo that's Aya Ayo Asher like Aya Asher Aya I mean she's trying to copy the I am who I am from the Old Testament I mean these are poisonous like Tao Ma and this poisonous abusive whore are persisting in this like abuse this isn't me I don't want my wife to be stripped naked publicly or any of my side wives to be stripped naked publicly I'd rather have that you know again in the harem but these people are doing it publicly to abuse me, dishonor me, do all sorts of stuff, and are they now just hiding? I mean, are they hiding in Japan as their last vestige of whatever? I mean, Japan's seriously seen deaths related to this event, earthquake deaths, because, you know, clearly this is the god of the Old Testament. This isn't Shinto. Well, this, you know, if this is people mocking, oh, the Shinto and the Shin Bet. Well, okay, well, this is Shin, and... Who is Shin? Yo. And Shin is saying, you fucked up. You are abusive rapists, and you need to stop this. I mean, is all Japan? Uh, if, if this is still going on out of Japan and the Netherlands, yeah. I mean, are they sovereigns, and that's how they're getting away with it? Not anymore, they aren't. I mean, that's it. So, um, and again, this is a mountain range that engages for the first time since, like, it activates for the first time. Mount Yo. And let's click this one. Uh, and Japanese volcano for the first time. And here's where I'm clearly, this is where the book of Revelation, the plagues, hail, violent, lightning, earthquakes, all sorts of stuff, Armageddon happens. I mean, we're at that point. It seems like we're at the uh, part where the empire has been plunged into darkness and, um, you know, men are in pain over their abusive behavior. Uh, and here's where I tagged something. Well, this one is no-go warning. So I think they were trying to trick me, and then it was like, no-go. Uh, Mount Yo will become more active. Here. 
See, it looks really nice here in Houston. That is a, in fact, let's see. Can I do this? Look at that. Looks nice. And it's like a nice. I'm looking on the, uh, it looks nice on webcam, right? But I mean, it looks really nice here. It's a beautiful, beautiful color gradient. I just thought I would share that. Um, <laughs> you know, seems like every day God's painting beautiful masterpieces for me to enjoy. So, um, whereas in other places are experiencing, you know, tribulation due to this, and even the people around me are like, well, it would seem that we're enjoying peace and prosperity because of the word of God, actually. Um, and the point of all reason coming out of here. So this is Arab news. This is on Arab here. Well, Arab news. And, uh, so, I mean... So I've tagged in this, you know, Stephanie juiced in here, this character, uh, Japan's government, Israel, IDF spokesperson, Oman embassy, um, Dutch <laughs> embassy, Oman. So it's the embassy of the kingdom of Netherlands in the Sultanate of Oman. Uh, but the Oman's mission to the UN. So this is, you know... The embassy of Oman in Tokyo, and then this is seemingly the embassy of the Netherlands. So all these people, all these things that are connected, all these, you know. Uh, Stephanie Yostin seems to be out of Japan and the Netherlands is where, you know, this attack is persisting out of. Okay, Oman, Oman Ministry and Heritage and Culture, Sultanate of Oman, so... Daniel, you know, Daniel, the book of Daniel, 713. So, like, you know, you call up Houston here, 713. It's our area code. It's what we're known at, you know, 713, right? In America, we area codes are uh, a, of cultural significance. So this should be, make, make some sense. Um, okay, Daniel 713 is... You know, Daniel's name is, uh, Dan is Judge, Danny, my judge, like judge of mine, and then Al, God, it's like my judge is God, or judge of mine, God. Um, you see, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven, and came to the Ancient of Days, and they were brought near before him. Interestingly enough here... Yasin, who I, I used to DJ with Yasin, is Dubin Milkins, right? Um, so, Young Cloud here. <laughs> Yasin, but uh, Yo comes riding in on a cloud. So, <laughs> actually, it would seem like just symbolically around me. And he's, um, Sufist? Sufi? I mean, what are you now, Yasin? Are you still... I mean, at this point, you'd be like, oh, I got a good name, huh? Uh, or I was blessed by Yo with a good name. Yo who is Yah, who would understand the obvious deep natures of Sufist Islam because their deep spiritual questionings of the spiritual reality which was created by Yo. <laughs> I mean, that is actually what you would get out of the Bible and out of the Word of God. So, um, yeah, Yo who comes riding in, the son of, one like the Son of Man who comes riding in on a cloud. It's coming to the Ancient of Days, and they front before him. Anyway, and this is all, like the part in Revelation where the Lamb and the, who is a lion, you know, representative of Jesus, but also Yo, and was given dominion, Shultan Empire, so Shultan it, right? Shultan, I mean, is this where that comes from? Has this been caught out publicly and either they're remedying it or this is just how it falls? And then who is Shultan? Yo, but I mean, are you remedying it? Then, yo. Um, 
Yakar, glory. Kingdom, Malkut. So, Kabbalists should understand that. That's the lowest. And I Da'ath, I'm over Da'ath, and I got my crown. But, you know, my Stephanos, my Ketar, my Atara. See, I get all this, my Etra. And I have Bina and Chokma and Chokmat. Because I am, you know, Yahweh Zabot, or Yo Zabot. You know, with a T. So, ladies. <laughs> and, uh... Okay, and that all people, am, nations, umash, language, speech, lishan, shall serve, uh, empire, everlasting, alam, into perpetuity. We figured all the death stuff out. All the people who wanted to die, we just deal with them. And then the other people, they change their mind. That's, they repent. Dominion, shultan, which will, shall not, ada, pass, uh, and which will, shall, shall not be, Cabal shall not be destroyed or ruined. Still, Kabbalah hmm. shall not be cabaled. Like Kabel, like Bella? Anyway, uh, and I came near. And these are but the set apart, the saints of Elion. So, the saints come marching in. Got my nice new rocket hat. Looks like New Orleans inspired. Got that Mardi Gras theme. Also goes along with the uh, whole. <laughs> okay, hold on. You know, I might just do this like a one-day thing and just and then start next week's thing. Um, so, so, look, the hat. It's like the hat colors. You know, I was looking for a hat that was... I got a bunch of hats and made an amalgamation hat because they don't sell this actual hat. But got really close to a hat. And uh, also, just very clearly, this was what I was symbolically getting at. You know, clearly the... You know, the blade and chalice and just making points with all these people's symbols that obviously God is God over all of it. God is yo, who, who knows over all of it, so yo. And, you know, people wanting to be mages and mages. Well, who's who's actually head over all y'all because you're just, you know, trying to subvert what is knowledge and uh, which should be not used in that way. Well, yo. And so the mage dawn, who was the mage, the har mage dawn, the mountain of the mage dawn, that's Harmageddon. You get it? Har, mage, don, har, meaning a mountain. Is that Har V? Is there a, is there a Weinstein and is he a, is he a mage don? You know, that whole thing that I'm talking about, all these women being used as pets and stuff. And at this point, it seems like women are, like, the way they're getting into these movies is having babies with the directors to get into the movie. And they're, like, naming them other god names and trying to create like death stranding like experiences and that's why that like mark the beast style thing and suddenly and at once because it's just abusive rape behavior and you've tricked a bunch of women into killing themselves in public um to get off seemingly so for your for your sake for you to get off i mean they would have gotten off way more with god but you know some snake tricked them and so they're, they have to die unless they fix this that's you know armageddon uh <laughs> so I mean, I say they, unless it's fixed, which is Armageddon, and then, you know, moving forward. Um, so, and, you know, clearly the saints come marching in and take the kingdom, possess the kingdom forever and ever, and, you know, the fourth beasts, so these beasts, emperors, it says animal, like a venomous animal. So this is Old Testament, Jewish, and then New Testament Christian, so Greek, and, you know, the New Testament, it describes it as a terion, Venomous animal, venomous beast. That's the mark of the beast, so I'm assuming it's this beast's mark. And, you know, there's ten kings, ten other kingdoms, satellite nations, or ten other men or kingdoms or something. This also seemingly has to be like, you know, taking my wife and splitting her sexuality in, in multiple ways, like a bunch of oil companies are doing, instead of like, you know, providing for everybody actually in ways that we would live forever. So, again, this is why this all is falling down, just whatever. And all these people, you know, the beast which speaks in these ten horns and that arise, and they, they shall be diverse. Shina, from the first, and shall subdue. Anyway, um, 
you know, you can read what it says, and he shall speak words against Ila, Ila, you know. Jesus cries out on the cross, Ila, Ila, Labaksami, or, you know, how it's said. I'd have to go and break it down more. That's actually, one of my, I don't actually, you know, no one's being forsaken here, actually. Jesus gets it. Um, so, you speak words against Ila, Supreme God, and they shall wear out the saints of Elion. So, who is actually Supreme? Yo. So, they're speaking words against me. Mostly, they're speaking words against the, the name Yo and Yah. Like, they're speaking words about these names, which God is saying. That's the whole point is this holds things in logic. And it's just like if you're trying to snake down reality itself and you're hurting everybody, that has to be dealt with in a way. And then everybody else can be provided for, you know, when, they, when people aren't snaking it down or trying to. Um, okay, and, you know, you think to change the times and stuff, but judgment, so Dean shall, Dean, so that, is that Sam and Dean? Anyway, um, and that Dean guy, it's Stephanie Houston, I mean, was he Jewish or something? See, I saw on one of his things, like, who shall judge me, and it had jaw behind it. Well, yo, that's me. Uh, so, but judgment shall sit, shall dwell. Ada and his dominion empire, Shultan, to consume Shim Ad, Shimdi, and destroy Abed. So this is Abaddon perdition. This seemingly is the fifth, sixth trumpet seal place into the end. Suf, that is also seemingly represented by a hurricane. But is that Sufism? Suf? And you know, seriously, when I was looking at these dudes who are like the sultanate Guys, I was looking at a video of, in fact, let's just look at it, might as well. Through history. Uh, this is like, trying to find different sources. I was looking at it in different places. So I looked up some stuff on kebab. Honestly, food, it, more people are tied together with food than all the stuff that, <laughs> that these people are <laughs> putting up anyway. People like food. Okay, um, people like eating. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Uh, <laughs> that's why God made food. Um. That's why these sensations were created, that you're not just in this sterile environment where you don't do anything and are just whatever. You get to enjoy sensations. How do you take on all this? So here it talks about, um, let's see, Arab normalization with Israel. I mean, Islam and Arab, like, the concepts of Arab and Islam are in question, obviously, because of this, in these actions. And the God who actually acts in power is acting in power. So, I mean, this is why this normalization would have to happen. This, it, this is like Iranian TV. And if you want to know why, because Supreme actually, yo, who is the word of God actually, has been attacked in a way that he shouldn't. And, you know, everybody's false. You know, when you're calling America the great Satan, well, I live in America, and when it's working for me, it's now under the word of God. And anybody against me is satanic. So get behind me, Satan. That's what I'm saying to you, Iran, and anybody in the Arab world, anybody in Israel, anybody... Anywhere, get behind me, Satan. That's the whole point. And those who aren't get marked off, like Mark the Beast, they're just venomous animals. So, <laughs> I mean, clearly being used by a computer, it would seem. So, a you know lesser intelligence, not using a rod of iron, seemingly being able, able to control these things, but being used by them. Definitely not a superior intelligence that created all things. That's why they are demons, inferior gods. So, do you want that to be the law that you follow? No. You don't want to follow Shaitan and Satan and Iblis? I mean, who is Iblis, really? But Shaitan, that's a person. Is that just another one of Shaitan's names? Or is that just another person who acts as Shaitan or whatever, Satan? That's, you know, adversary in Hebrew. That's what that means, adversary. So, are, are we your adversaries now? Am I your adversary? Is America your adversary? That's why everybody's having to get this out, because there is a one point of truth and reference here, and it's the person who is clearly, you know, I'm going to put my name on you, and you're going to call people on their bullshit. And that's how the Bible ends. And you are the word of God. You can clearly see how much it's hailing in the Middle East and all the earthquakes that are going on and all the things which represent Allah actually. Not Mecca. 
not a Mecca, you know, but the word of God, the holy city actually, you know, existing. And, you know, the one who is Shultan into perpetuity, not uh, false supremes. So is this supreme behind me? If they are, then, you know, you follow Elah truly. You are followers of Allah and God if you follow me. But if you are in front of me as an obstacle and my adversary, you are Shaitan, you are Satan. The great Satan or the little one, either one's getting killed into eternal burning torture. You don't want to be him. Trust me. Yeah. So, um, let's see. We'll watch this video. This is this one's Voice of America. What did hold by the American government? All right. Oh, there's no sound, huh? Well, that's Netanyahu's wife, Sarah. So. Uh... That's, you know, Benjamin Netanyahu. You know, they're, they're carrying swords. There is one whose name is the Word of God, who's known as the Word of God. Who is the Word of God? Matthew Wilkins also, who's, you know, out of my mouth issues a sharp sword. So these men carry swords just as, uh, you know, American commanders and officers carry pistols and things which are representative of their honor and rank. And their authority. Their authority should have honor to it and should, you know, the weight of that honor should be authority in itself. I mean, they should be likable people. That's the whole point of existing. And I'm saying this, I mean, I'm not saying, am I saying you aren't? I'm just saying it's, you know, people in authority. Clearly I'm being attacked by people in authority and people not in authority and just, I'm making points about everybody. So, you know, yeah. And I believe he's the Shultan, the Sultan of, like, the head guy in Oman. And, you know, probably calling... This is clearly an international incident. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> you know. I mean, everybody's having to acknowledge it. But basically, more people are just going to have to live peacefully with each other. Or live in ways where, you know, it's more fun to get things together and party in a way that is reasonable and where people live into eternity and don't die and you know whatever then what people are clearly doing now where they just want to die or whatever and that's seemingly being empowered by authority you know government so let's watch m more this is al jazeera just two days after palestinian president mahmoud abbas made a three-day trip to oman prime minister benjamin netanyahu made a surprise visit to the sultanate it's the first time an Israeli leader has visited the Gulf state in more than two decades. In a joint statement, Prime Minister Netanyahu and the Omani leader Sultan Qaboos said they discussed ways to advance the Middle East peace process. But Oman's foreign minister says the U.S. still needs to play its part. We all see he carries a sword. And again, I believe Muscat is where Avicii suicided himself or was suicided. I mean, I think this is all tied together. But also just Oman's been seeing a number of hurricanes even since May and April and stuff, and, you know, this isn't normal. None of this is normal. It's not just people claiming climate change. Like, they, these people, I mean, they say they believe in a lot. I believe they believe in God. They're just like, well, they gotta... I mean, when, they, when you see God, you know God, actually. That's the point of the Word of God manifesting God and, you know, what Jesus did. So, uh, okay, here. Play its part. We are facilitators in many situations that can help convince opposing parties on how to reach an agreement. When it comes to the Palestinian issue, we believe the mediator that has to play a new role is the U.S., and particularly President Trump. Well, the word of God would actually have authority over the whole situation, and clearly I'm the one in line with the biblical narrative and text. And so if people are doing things like... Their authority comes from, oh, yeah, well, we're doing the biblical thing. Well, the word of God is actually when I'm doing the biblical thing, and I'm being attacked in a way that needs to be remedied, and this all needs to be fixed and actually engaged in a real way, and we need to go to a kingdom of heaven, not this, you know, not whatever is actually going on, or not what has been going on, you know. Shaitan, Satan's kingdom, which is it's the whole lord of the age. There's seemingly been someone always able to subvert authority and get it to high levels because he just they just break all the rules or some shit. Whereas God, as God, as Yo, the Word of God, 
It's like I come in and fix that because, well, really, to God, there aren't rules, and it's having to fix people's uh, abusive authority and dishonorable sexual relationships and abusive behavior and stuff like that. Not, you know, the other way around. Not the one, not where I'm being called out, where the people who are attacking me are being called out, and I'm literally pulling every uh, alarm that I can to say, this is wrong. This is not appropriate. You need to engage this correctly. And I mean, it would seem as if there's change going on. I mean, is this the change that is tied to this? Is this tied to this? I have to say this like this because when I wouldn't say anything, is like that's like people hushing me down. And I'm not going to be hushed down. You know, silence uh, precedes my coming, the coming of Yo, the Lord. So, you know, the people shushing me down. That's the whole point. The people shushing me down only revealed that there are actually people who are so quiet around them that are like, and they go by the name Yo, like who understand who Yo is. Yo is actually, you know, can speak in quiet, in silence, can speak in whatever. Iran criticized the visit saying, is, you know, the narrative of existence getting itself over to people. Israel aims to create divisions between Muslim countries in the region. Okay, let's see. President Trump. Iran criticized the visit, saying Israel aims to create divisions between Muslim countries in the region. Netanyahu and his wife were joined by a large delegation of Israeli officials, including Mossad intelligence chief Yossi Cohen. Oman and Israel do not have official diplomatic ties, but Netanyahu insists relations between Israel and Gulf countries have been growing, due in part to a shared opposition to Iran. The Iran deal has had one positive consequence. An unintended one, but a positive consequence. I mean, Iran, I believe, is like Persia. So is that the prince of Persia from the Bible? Like Michael, the archangel against the, the arch prince, the head prince of the people of who shall rule as God of Israel, actually, so of God's people versus the prince of Persia. And that's what Iran is. And that's why they're pretending some false god stuff. And it's really just a false, you know, Persian empire or something. Or, you know, this whole thing is there's false empires being propped up against God, actually, uh, whether they're underground or Persian, you know, there's Ubisoft's, all these video games, seemingly the most recent Far Cry is just like, make Christians into crazy whatever, and you know, all this stuff about making assassins cool, and the knights are evil people, well, it would seem the knights have the actual text, they just aren't following it, right, and the assassins are clearly following the wrong text, doing the wrong thing, uh, but they're both in the wrong, so yo, the word of God actually comes, and is more like a uh, you know, something out of, you know, making this into a comic book or a video game, actually, like, where it's so crazy. I mean, you can see it's constantly hailing in the Middle East. It is only going to get more intense with these things. You are only, I mean, we'll just look more at stuff, but clearly this is happening. Also, I mean, amongst different Arab nations, or they're different, you know, this, this is the assassins, or this is the assassins, and you have Saladin, and, you know, all these, you know, what, what is this, like... I mean, that's not what this... Clearly the Bible is written because there's actually a word of God and when that person is attacked by seemingly a group of people playing assassin, like uh, I went over Mickey Mac Troy, you got that Mark Troyan guy or whatever, doing like uh, Assassin's Creed where they're all, like everybody's hyped up. It's, oh, it's a video game. It's Assassin's Creed. Well, no, it's real life and you guys are caught out being assholes and you guys are caught out being the dumbest people of all time. So, um... No, there's not assassin stuff, it's not knight stuff, it's, I mean, it would seem that even the assassins of the knight got together at some point and were like, wait, don't we follow God? But did you follow the right God at that point? I mean, so, the right God is Yo, that is who Allah is. By empowering Iran, it brought Israel and many Arab states closer together than ever before. From an Israeli perspective, this is a, this is a big win for Netanyahu. I think you know, he's going to be facing elections next year. He wants to show his base and, and the Israeli center that he can continue to be tough on the Palestinians, um, but, but build bridges uh, with the Arab world. And so this is, a, this is a, a clear boon for Prime Minister Netanyahu. President Donald Trump's attempts to broker what he calls the deal of a century have so far been fruitless. Stalled after the U.S. moved its embassy to Jerusalem. 
but warming ties between Israel and its Arab neighbors adds pressure to the Palestinian leadership to cooperate with a new era of peace talks. Mohammed Al Bardisi, Al Jazeera. So, I mean, this is actually going on again. I believe this is Muscat, and we'll look at flooding in Muscat, but that's where it, you know. I bring this up because, again, this clearly, and it brings a dark side to the music industry. So it's more of my point that a lot of the music it seems really happy and stuff, but, I mean, if he's just a suicidal, like, sad person, it shouldn't be, shouldn't be looked at as a hero or whatever. Um, he picked a bad way out of this, again, Muscat, Oman. Like, not that some of his music wasn't enjoyable, but, I mean... So if you're if everybody's to follow examples of stuff, this is a terrible example to follow. So don't, and this is uh, you see here, April twentieth. So again, um, and not to talk ill about the dead. The only issue is these people who are idols and celebrities. Like this is well, you know. He got to live a great life, and then he died doing what he wanted, or whatever, some bullshit. It's like, no, he's just dead into sadness, and eternal sadness. There's nothing happy about that. This is literally how death perpetuates an empire of death. Uh, so, yeah. Um, it says, acute pancreatitis and suicide. And it, this all happened... Seemingly around this narrative, there seems to be some sort of veil being put around it. I mean, um, Catherine, you would take that is literally what the book of Revelation is. So, to come to an end, soof, snatch, terminate. And, um, you know, this is Daniel, the book of Daniel. So, this was written in Babylon, in, you know, Persia, the king of Babel, Belteshazzar, and, uh, Confusion by mixing, so. By mixing all these dumb concepts, that, like, which could make sense, I guess, hypothetically, but don't really actually, and just lead into death for people, blah, you know. Fodder, mingled. Also seems to be something like this whore, drunk off, you know, these concepts. Anyway. All right. This is also where that 300, where 300 comes from, like, literally... 300, and then there's like a, I say that 300 movie, but this is the one that I meant, this 300, Rise of an Empire, like they're all fighting on ships and stuff, I'm pretty sure this was just, like, I, as I was watching it, like literally when I was in mental lock, whatever, like they threw me into a mental thing because they're illegally questioning my, my sanity, I was watching this and I was like, this is just... This story is just directly out of, like, Greek to Xerxes, and Xerxes is God King, and Darius King of Persia. I mean, this is clearly, like, uh... It pleased Darius to anoint 120 satraps. I mean, this is, like, it's just directly out of... out of, uh, the Bible. I mean, it's not just directly. It's like a lot of the concepts are lifted in confusion and put in a confused narrative instead of this thing that actually happened is happening and has, an, has a resolution that ends in happiness for the people who are like, I want to go to that empire and that kingdom. Yeah. So um, I'm going to take a break here. And I've already talked for like an hour. And I might... Do a little more, we'll see what happens, so... Yeah. You. Alright, back. Um, you know, the volcanoes have been smoking and... doing their thing here. And... I figured... let's look at... just the... videos... that I've posted up today... since the last, you know... yo yar that I've done. Tipo aquele Independence Day, não, é o dia depois de amanhã. Ô, Fábio, para com isso. 
Mas tá vindo a nossa geração, um você tá vendo? Dia de... Vai passar aqui por cima, velho. Mas aqui quando começou... Isso não tô e a parte falando. preta que tá mais pesada. Aquela parte preta ali, ó. Caraca, mano. Nossa, meu Deus, se vim do jeito que tu tomara, Deus que não, né? Sim, they're looking at this storm. E aquela parte mais escura que vai passar exatamente aqui em cima. Então, vamos lá, velho. Se pegar aqui, por sinal, eu posso aqui. Leva tudo. Olha ali, olha ali, por cima da montanha. Nossa, é feio, é muita água que tá aqui em cima. Não, deu um curso de fogo, fogo lá, onde tá um negócio é amarelo. É um fogo. Deu um curso, tipo, deu uma explosãozinha. Olha só, tag. Tudo, tudo, Eu acho que era bom baixar mesmo e fechar isso daí, velho. Vai ficar, vai ficar pesado aqui. Olha ali o bicho ali saindo do vídeo. Independência dele. Agora vai ventar mais aí. Vai pra voar a barraca, velho. Agora vai subir alto lá. Vai dar inteiro, vai nada. Aqui, ó, aqui eu botei todo mundo no banheiro e falei, gente, vem pra dentro do banheiro. Tem um outro, tem um outro, tem um lá que é subterrâneo. 
Olha isso aqui, Fábio, acabou tudo, não, acabou tudo. Acabou tudo, o nosso carro lá tá voando troço em cima. Teve um doido que desceu de carro na hora aí. Desceu de carro? Eu falei, desceu vamos um carro embora. Branco. Eu acho que passou, agora eu acho que passou. Não, não passou agora. Então, eles também estão vendo o Hale no Brasil. Como eu disse, Just more powerful than average wind gusts, though that was attached to a storm. Yeah, I mean, you didn't see a lot of rain and stuff. You didn't see just more powerful than average wind gusts that looked like they almost blew a cafe off a mountain. And, I mean, I think this is only a trailer of things to come, actually. <coughs> this says October 18th, but it, it was posted up with stuff for the 28th, because it's the 28th, so they might have hit a 1 instead of a 2. Because it was posted today. So, you know, Middle East, storming, flooding, hailing, like ridiculous amounts. I mean, <clears throat> once at the beginning of the year it was, like, newsworthy, now it's just Every day. Shovu ya Rab, shovu al wadiyan kif tahmad al shawara, wal mahallat, wal mahatat al petrol. Ma nqdar, ma nqdar. الحيل حاليا منطقة الحيل وديان دخلت كل مكان Infrastructure in the Middle East is not built for this That's indicative of what's going on. Look at how the water's flowing. Okay, so now this is flooding in Oman. We we're speaking about Oman. And here's flooding currently, you know, as was happening yesterday and the day the day before and now it's happening more. <laughs>
دارت دارت بمعنى الكلمة ما شاء الله ما شاء الله ما في أطفال السالح You know a game, people, that I remember is uh, <laughs> whenever I think of Oman, I think of this. Uh, but even this was just like, this is dumb, like these aren't real things. Why is the Marines fighting a bunch of people from the Middle East? I mean, America's made up of people from everywhere, so. Ultimately, it just has people from the Middle East, also the Marines, and, you know, people randomly, I guess, within these false... This is the thing, is they're just... Fa it's like, obviously, Daesh and ISIS is fake, and so this, you know, this is not exactly that, but, I mean, these concepts of getting people riled up for war at this point over Islam and religion, and Christianity, and, you know, I mean... Christianity basically at this point is defend Yo, who is the word of God, and then you will have that empire into perpetuity. So, <clears throat> you, I mean, that is clearly actually how the uh, book ends. You know, those who uh, the word and the the few and the chosen. <laughs> actually, that's how it's. I mean, seriously, it actually. There's a beast person, and they they will go to war against the Lamb, but the Lamb is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and he will defeat them, and they will be defeated by his followers, the called, the chosen, the faithful. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, but yeah, when I think of Oman, and I think of uh, also just like as a medic. And Battlefield just going and defibrillating people and defibrillating. That was fun. Seeing, you know, people in Oman and people here could play that as a game where we just play each other for fun. And we could probably get the actual, like, people who battle each other down in a better, you know, more realistic manner. At this point, no one's really battling each other. You just have people, like, op four and, you know, whatever. Op four versus non op four or something, you know, whatever. whatever. And, uh,. But I mean, most people are, why is, why are people fighting? Why are people gearing up to fight other people? I mean, obviously there's that, it's just like people like to spar and fight and stuff, but not to death and to dishonor and stuff like that. It'd be much more enjoyable, you know, Kingdom of Heaven, where clearly everywhere in the world we just enjoy existence together, right? Instead of having to deal with this kind of stuff, which is... <laughs> You know, when people say coexist, well, first of all, you have to have the one who actually exists. You have to let him exist, and you cannot abuse him publicly and per precipitate uh, sexual abuse on him and all sorts of abuse. Like, he, he literally, that's the whole point of the word. You can't coexist if the word can't exist, and people are trying to rake and assassinate the word of God out of existence. So for, for existence to exist, it has to exist. So the word, which existence comes out of has to exist. Do you get what I'm saying here? So the coexistence has to first has to exist to coexist, right? I mean, that would just make logic, reason, sense, you know, like reason like the word of God is. That's what it actually is. Logos, reason, and discourse, you know, and um, yeah. <laughs>
I mean, looks like he's trying to go help someone and can't even help someone in this in these conditions. Okay, here's so you're talking about Moscato Mon. I believe that's where Netanyahu was. And so here it's flooding there. Just as the 300,000 lightning strikes around Megan and Harry when they were in uh, going to Cockatoo Island, Cuckatoo, I guess, you know, still the cuck thing, making fun of cuckold abuse and rape abuse in public, uh, you know, where the hail and damaging winds, damaging hail, lightning struck a person, 300,000 lightning strikes, some of which were, in fact, let me show one of them that I didn't show on here because I didn't post it up because it's just, it was way later than, but I could have. This one, I mean. I mean, that one looks pretty far away and it's delayed and you still see it shakes the house. This says, hmm. well, like that, did you guys see this one? Con the lightning has concussive properties. So clearly, the lightning is ramping up to ridiculous degrees. And these events are going on around the narrative, again. Around these pla I mean, it's all around the world, but you can see the clear places that are connected to this narrative being affected. And again, I'm not going to make it more difficult on myself during this time. The Spirit of God is not going to, you know, make things more difficult on the word while this is actively happening. <coughs> so listen. normal. <laughs> I don't think they can walk. Or I 
guess maybe he was like a rescuer and their car got stuck. Anyway, he's in some kind of gear and then he comes out and then So Portugal. Now Italy. The seat of Christian authority, right? Except actually, yo, the seat is you know, sitting on the throne of existence actually because the word of God exceeds the power of, you know, a pope, which is not using that word, thereby invalidating the authority or with even, you know, literally it's in the Catholic liturgy to not use the, the name. Again, it's the same kind of blasphemous thing, which is false people claiming blasphemy about using the name. That's what the Jews were doing at the time, the fake Jews were doing at the time. I mean, even the real Jews. There's a prohibition against the name. And when Jesus came and announced it and explained it, that's when, it, uh, under any form of rational thought, Jewish people should say, okay, yeah, and a number did. A number did follow him. And then, uh, you know, same thing, a number of Jews followed him because it makes sense to everybody, actually. And that was, you know, the people who, the audience at the time, and it should make sense to everybody now. And considering this is where, you know, I kept saying West, I, like West is East here, you know, East of Houston is West, the Western society and West of us is what is considered East. So that's different, but you know, all this, the seats of power of the West comes with the, from the authority out of the Bible. And clearly the word of God has that authority. And that's someone who has the name put on him just as the person like from the third church, you know, in Revelation, there's seven churches. Well, the third church sequentially, someone gets a stone with a name that only he knows. Well, same thing with the name that uh, the one who is known as the word of God, only he knows his own name. Only he know Yoda's it, Yada's it. In Hebrew, if you Yoda your own name, you would Yoda it. I mean, if you're Yo, you would Yoda it. You get it? Yo, duh. <laughs> Italy flooding. Looks like they're in real time trying to mitigate some of the flooding. Heavy construction equipment. I mean, there's some wisdom to this, but I'm, it's like to doing this to try to mitigate things. But I mean, what I'm saying is the like it's you know this isn't enough. So. Human wisdom isn't going to help in these situations as much as people would like. Or human intellect and, you know, skill sets and stuff. This is definitely like a spiritual thing that manifests in physical reality to show that spirit exists. So, I think it waves in it. Lazio. Oh, they got a soccer team. Look, just a, a more damaging windstorm. You know, they've been seeing more windstorms in Europe. Look at all the windstorms. All that yellow is windstorms. Severe wind, severe wind, and tornadoes. I mean, it knock, it's knocking down these damaging piers and structures and stuff. Again, just more intense wind. Just more intense wind, seemingly. <laughs> Um, and talking about, you know, Ecclesiasticus, the fish jumping on land and land creatures jumping in the water. It looks like fish are jumping on land here to deal with the flooding that they're seeing. Or just because, you know, to prove a point, because there's a, it's, you know, it's like the Matrix, who who's over the birds and everything, you know. Who runs their scripts? Yo. Uh, here's a cool lightning, lightning bolt. I just thought it looked interesting. From the point, look at all the lightning that's happening. That isn't, you know, some incredible looking lightning. Uh, Austin, Texas. Some flooding has occurred. Here's just a quick overview. And you can see that there's 
damage and it does not look like a, as hospitable of a place as it normally is. I mean, you can see these people's structures are underwater. Same thing with here, graveyard point. You can see, see uh, that looks like it's not normally underwater. These things look like they're not normally, like these houses don't look like they're normally underwater that much. Northeastern, northeastern hit. Boston. See strong wind, blue tree over on him. Man, again, just strong wind and storms. Blowing sand and causing, you know, people's problems. And now there's a boat sailing onto my lawn. Because <laughs> that's normal. That's what I do with the trees. And you can see the flooding going on. Here's the waves that are actually being made that are making waves up in the northeast, and northeast, in Boston. On March 1st, we signed the contract with Northern Construction to build that seawall. Then over the summer, they built the seawall. That seawall is three feet higher than the original seawall and about three feet wider at the base, so it's stronger and higher. The police chief and I took a ride through the Esplanade before we met you, and I think it's making a significant difference with the amount of water that's coming over. I'd like to point out I have my uh, yoker mix, but I also have the yoka mix. Get it? And that should make a lot of sense to a lot of different people about a lot of different things, but I mean, this was Boston. We signed the contract with Northern Construction to build that seawall. Then over the summer, they built the seawall. That seawall is three feet higher than the original seawall and about three feet wider at the base, so it's stronger and higher. So. Anyway, that uh, Lindsay Lulu Hughes girl, she really liked Boston. Anyway, it looks like, uh, and Maine and stuff, because you're from there. Well, look, there's all sorts of storms sitting up there, and, you know, Nor'easter is going on, because who controls a storm? Yo. And so why are you participating in that with those people? But, uh, you know, what I say about Boston is, uh, the Yoka. Okay. We're talking about the storm. Crews around the state are working to restore power. See, a yoke is like you get yoked into something. You can't, you're like, it's a yoke. You should go look up what a yoke is. Like you put a yoke around an ox and they carry carts and stuff. So the people are, who have precipitated this are now yoked into the situation. They actually have to deal with it. They, these are not just ephemeral things. You know, these people, some people try to act like ghosts and do stuff like where they, you know, they use, you know, illusionism and tricks to, like, not, you know, just to vanish and stuff, but nope. People are yoked into this, actually. This is actually a revelation of the Word of God, which How is affecting the entire planet. There's nowhere on the planet that isn't going to be brought into light affected by this. After strong winds brought down trees on utility lines. NEMA is reporting close to 14,000 customers are without power. WBZ's Paul Burton shows us the impact on the South Shore. The winds were rocking on Saturday as a nor'easter barreled through the South Shore. It's amazing, powerful, it's awesome. Strong winds brought down this tree on Belgrade Drive in Rosendale and sent waves crashing over the seawall in Marshfield. Hi, uh, I was just getting overpowered. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, you gotta, gotta kind of know when to. When they say when. In Duxbury, these two windsurfers faced Mother Nature head on, but decided to call it quits. It was very windy. I had the, uh, I had a sail that was a little bit too big for today, but uh, it was worth a try. Water's a little cold. It's strong. People say Mother Nature and stuff, but it's really, so they, they fought high winds and stuff. Like people say Christians are crazy for saying this stuff that we, you know, or, you know, people who say that I'm crazy, but Mother Nature isn't controlling that. I mean, if you're talking about science, that's a some sort of systemic uh, storm system that's controlled. Uh, well, modern day science would say seemingly just random patterns, which have no 
whatever. But that's obviously the observers themselves being in confusion. But being observed by Yo, the Word of God, the one who knows who Yoda is and who knows, you know, like a like a seer of knowledge is saying there is an obvious pattern to this in a narrative which you would have to be denying reality to deny, and you'd be hurting you and everybody around you and you know existence because you can't live a false reality. But not too hard. Small boats were being tossed by rough seas. At Brant Rock, the Venus 2 restaurant had a few patrons as town officials had to block roads leading to the Esplanade. With the high winds and the rain and the water coming over, I think a big concern is the, the uh, customers moving their vehicles and getting them out of here safely. This seawall here at Brant Rock was recently repaired. So you could say, you could say it was God, because God would be, you know, mighty over, who is mighty over all these things in nature. But to just say nature itself would seem to be looking or mother nature or whatever is like missing some realities that are actually going on. That sounds like crazy craziness to me. That doesn't sound like rationality. What I'm saying is clearly rational. You can see it. And it's holding up well against this nor'easter, but city officials still warn residents, don't take this storm lightly. If you want to take warning, make sure you have uh, batteries for your uh, flashlights and lights if you have a generator make sure you have gas and you know if the flooding gets too bad you know call call the EOC call the police department and uh, we'll get first responders out to get you out of your house so um okay jersey shore at home now parts of the jersey shore are drying out after a weekend nor'easter brought coastal flooding to roadways and low-lying areas water was several feet deep in ocean city near 6th street at the bay susie schwartz posted this video on on Facebook. Thank you, Susie. This is what the area near Bartram and Westminster Lanes in Ocean City's Marion Park section looked like yesterday. The roadway left several parked cars there in deep water on Saturday night. That video was posted on Facebook by Dennis Noble. Thank you to you both. Here's a look at yesterday's flooding in Avalon as well. This is near the area of 20th Street and Ocean Drive. This drone video was shot by Tom McFillin. High tides pushed several feet of water onto the roadways there and into low-lying areas. Well, you know, when the waters rise, they say you must learn to paddle. And that's exactly what this kayaker did in Stone Harbor today. This video was taken near 83rd Street and 3rd Avenue. Several sections of, of Stone Harbor, including downtown, were dealing with floods. But it looks like, well, this boater is, well, he's making the best of it. Thanks to Zeke for that video there. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break and I'll be right back. So, yo. So, you can see some. You know, smoking's still going on here. And volcanoes, that is. And, um, let's see. Wet weather is also blamed for a series of manhole fires on the Upper East Side. Flames and smoke shot out of one of the manholes on East 74th Street and 3rd Avenue just after 5 o'clock this evening. Smoke could be seen coming out of another manhole nearby. Firefighters cordoned off the intersection. Con Ed says power in the area was not affected. There were no reports of any injuries. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe that's normal. From the five boroughs to the Jersey Shore, this nor'easter was no joke. I live on, on the other side of the river there, and uh, it's really coming down to that. It's wind and rain really gets you. Gusty winds throwing soggy sand onto the beachfront road in Seabright. Crews coming in to clean up as people try to stay dry. It's sad because I really just want to be playing outside. Further north at the Hoboken Terminal, rising water left several train platforms submerged. And here in the city, the FDR Drive also flooded. Drivers barely making it through the deep mess after the East River got too high on the highly traveled route. Police and firefighters shutting it down on one side from East 80th to East 96th Street. I mean, I don't like being stuck in places, so for me, it's a little like, oh. Not to mention the multiple fender benders we spotted. Also damaging cars, toppled trees in Queens. It was a big thump, and then the alarm on the car just went off. No one was hurt, but people were left without power on 228th Street in Springfield Gardens. 
And the dreary weather was also a little bit of a downer for the kids. Some fun events had to be canceled, including the annual Halloween extravaganza here at Gracie Mansion. The good news, though, is that it will be held tomorrow instead. On the Upper East Side, Rena Roy, CBS 2 News. So, you know, that Halloween All Saints Day. Halloween. We were just talking about the Saints earlier. Okay, here's a hailstorm in South Korea 2018. Right, guys, Already watched this once, but I mean, this is. Right, guys, I'm proud. Holy shit. That doesn't have to be translated, that last part. <laughs> Um, and you can see here, it's posted today, so I believe it's from today. Like guys, I'm proud. You don't have to translate it, like I'm saying, you just understand. You don't want to do that? Holy shit. Like maybe there, or, you know, I don't know, he could have just been mumbling, but <laughs> that last part was very clear. I don't believe that's normal there. Okay, and you can see I've tagged, so in this Houston Dynamo scandal, Shin Shinto and the Shin Bet. Um, and again, Shin Bet could have many meetings, but here's the internal military intelligence community of Israel. They keep Israel safe on the inside. Well, Israel... You have to acknowledge the who Israel is, yo. Else, you don't have a god, you don't have a sovereign, you don't have a, you don't have much, and a whole bunch of people hate you and want to blow you away, and all people, all sorts of people, just being adversarial against each other that don't have actual authority. I mean, there you go. That's what's causing all the problems, and that's why everybody's calling each other Satan. But you know, there is one who is the Word, which is Satan's adversary. So Satan, Satan, but the Word is clearly existential and in authority and the point of reason so um that's the shin bet <clears throat> and yet so I've tagged uh as well as the oman ministry of heritage and culture sultan of oman and kprc local 2 khou 11 abc 13 fox 26 I looked up some of the Spanish channel, Univision 45, I couldn't find it, nor could I find Telemundo's. Um, I'll do more research. <laughs> I'll look more. Um, here's Times of Oman. So, Oman, Times of Oman, Oman, when you click it, streets were flooded. Like, this is that ambulance thing that we just watched. Uh, here's more cards getting, we didn't watch this, because this was, this is, here's some Times of Oman for you. This is some coverage from the Times of Oman. You see it, it even, you know, has their stuff. So here you go. Hey, Gautam! Car jude! You know, the Times of... Oh, man. <laughs> and also, uh, hold on. So, the Shin Bet, you got the Mossad, and you got a man, which, you know, a moon, and, you know, even in Egypt, that makes sense, but means truth, and who is the God in truth, yo, and look, it says a man right there, and Lady Luhu. Oh, she is one of these girls who is in confusion, using, uh, she has definitely explained, she, again, I talk about this, but she was raped and now she is siding with her rapist because there's only one way out of this actually and that's to acknowledge these things and fix it but to then say this kind of stuff this actually breaks that down and gives rapist power so um there there are certain things that are better um saying gender like put equating these things is not equatable so that's i'm not saying any of these things you know i'm saying equating these things and then saying that none of them is better it's like breaking walls you're just yeah all this is just confusion doesn't make sense but it actually does and 
yo, I'm making sense of it all. Based in Berlin, well, <laughs> I can tell you uh, very clearly that this is actually, you know, and this is you know, stuff all around, being cultured and stuff going all around the uh, Middle East. Well, I mean, they get their culture from me. And I mean, this is false, like false idolism. It doesn't mean anything. I mean, love, it's just a thing of an elephant with some Sanskrit. This was made in Babylon, in confusion. Literally these, like, someone already came and said this would happen and people would use this to abuse people. And so you're either with the abusers or you're not. So you're with me or you're with the abusive rapists. You actually have to make a choice. That means there is a better religion, there is a better way, there is a better path. It is, yo, word of God. It is a law, actually. It is, you know, true justice. So it is decay. You know, the Greek uh, god of goddess of justice. I mean, that is who uh, the revelation in the seventh church, Laodicea, is DK, right? Dyke, <laughs> Dyke, or Dyke. And, uh, you know, DK. So, you gotta stop bullshitting. Again, if you wanna die, I mean, the smoking stuff is clear. I mean, if you wanna die, then. You can't be perpetuating, like, no one's gonna take your, any of your bullshit seriously. You've already, like, invalidated yourself. Who's gonna hire you? Like, who's gonna, like, not only that, you are perpetuating confusion and rape and, like, will not stop. Like, you are someone who should, you should know how this affects people and hurts people. So, and again, a man, right, right here. A moon. Olivia Munn. <laughs> a Munn. <laughs> Egypt seems to be a confused place like Babylon too, but who's the gods of Egypt? Yo. Ray, Matt, and, you know, we already went over this. Ray and Ray and Matt and... <laughs> Our neighbor Seth. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Egypt. We live in Egypt and Babylon, actually. And this is where all this actually, like, matrix is from and stuff. Anyway, here's a man, Israel. This is mine. Like, it's mine. I'm a man. This is my, uh, you know, this is the Saints logo. Well, they're my Saints, else they're not. Get it? They don't exist. So, and that is the Shin Bet. <laughs> so, there you go. Uh, same thing with the New Orleans Saints. You're just saints of Satan if you're not on my team. That should be clear what I'm saying here. So you're either on my team or you're not. I mean, whose team is what? Are teams being used against me? <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, I got those Saints New Orleans colors going on. You get it? But okay, times of oh man and a man. How many totaled cars just in floods in this video alone? <clears throat> I mean, in this, you know, in these videos that I've recently done alone. And look at all these cars swept away outside of Sultan. Oh, well, that's who. No, no, I just went and visited, I believe. Caboose. Caboose. Go to the Q Stadium in Muscat, right? <clears throat> Look, it's raining and lightninging. Lightninging. Okay, so that's the times of, oh man, what's really going on? You know, times of one, times of, oh man. <laughs> This is actually real. And this is the Haritz or the Ha Arts. R R T Z. Zabot. Zavot. Yahweh Zavot. Or Yo. Zavot. Yo. Yo Zavot. Uh, this is Haritz, which means earth in Hebrew. And who brews it? Yo. So, you like my language there. Hmm. And, um,. Here's 
the Dynamo, who I've, are clearly involved in a scandal here. Again, this is like attached to, you see Dynamo stuff all around because I'm in Houston and, <clears throat> you know, like soccer and they were a team that I followed. Anyway, I went over this and I haven't gone over the whole scandal. I'll save that for another video coming soon probably, but for now, uh, let's just put it like this. They're putting on fake trials, so the Dynamo trials that they put on each year are not real. They're just put on for show. They don't take anybody. They don't expect to take anybody. They've said this. They've had members of their uh, their organization, multiple members of their organization. Theranins, Hugo. Hugo said multiple people told him. I mean, Zach basically admitted it to my face. Like, a number of people are clearly not taking it seriously. Zach had to, like, go back on it because, I mean, obviously... Uh, if you're caught in that, then there's so large of legal ramifications, you like you would be in trouble for doing this. So there was a clear indication, yeah, but then there's no, and then I was libeled by Hugo, who clearly, he straight up told me, multiple of his bosses told him that yes, it is just a marketing gimmick and ploy, that you know they make a lot of money from it. And not just that, really what they do is they have to put something on like that, so that's what they put on. And then, else they would look like a fraud and just a cheap, schmony business that nobody wants to be, whatever. Just a corporate gimmick. I mean, that's all that it seems to be at this point. It doesn't seem to be anything real or connected to the community. And they're trying as much as they can, but they're not doing very well because they've already affronted themselves in such a terrible way. And again, they're putting on fake trials. A number of people, in fact... So after there's almost a lot like a lawsuit from me last year. Let's see, this is this year's. Is there a 2017 one? Because in the 2017 one, after it happened, someone I'll have a picture. I have a picture of it saved. Someone wrote down in the comments like it was a complete sham and there was a you know it wasn't real. And clearly it's not. I mean, they're just charging money to put on a fake marketing ploy. And I was told that by multiple members of their staff who then went back on that and libeled me, which got me thrown out of my house, like out of my parents' house, because my parents saw this, this organization, which shouldn't be lying, so why would they take that? Where's their son who's being attacked by all sorts of people and being questioned? I mean, he's looking whatever. But I mean, clearly I'm not lying. You can go through the whole situation. The whole thing is obviously more public than people wanted. So, um, that's, I mean, it's actually falling down on people's heads. That satanic libelous behavior that got me thrown out and homeless and, you know, I've had to, f like, I'm having to fight uphill to deal with the lies that are being compounded on me by multiple people around me that are clear lies. I mean, what Hugo did was illegal. It was libelous, it was abusive, and it is connected to this whole situation where you can clearly see, you know, multiple places around the world, because you can't have this ha actually happening in a society claiming to be just, where there's cameras on everything. So, oh no, we can have kind of a, a justice that we claim. Well, no, the computer can call you on your bullshit even, and it is. I mean, that's why this is more public than you want, because even... Like, all sorts of things are pointing out that this is happening and you cannot be doing this. It is sickening the planet. It's sickening society. It's sickening humanity. It's sickening everybody. I mean, this is terrible. I mean, there should be multiple levels of soccer, of, you know, of rank and professionality and whatever in a city. Multiple levels of professional even. Because we should be at a more of a leisure society instead of a fight for resources society. But people at high levels controlling money and resources and all this stuff causing these problems is causing this. And we can't enjoy things really to the next level. We could have much better soccer here in America all around the world. We could have much better sports, much better esports, much more fun. But these people are killing it. They're killing existence. They're killing everything enjoyable about existence. They're poisoning it. So it needs to be dealt with actually. So... 
that's why you know again i'm doing this publicly this is also how the bible ends clearly i mean you'd have to be lying on everything that you are just to say that this isn't the narrative from the end of the book i mean a lot of people are about the name literally and you can't lie about that that's the whole point that's why they're doing some harry potter shit and it's hurting everybody um okay so you know they libeled me and um threatened me with uh legal action and it you know caused psychological damage on me and my mom because my mom thought my mom is you know she's a legal she's a lawyer so she thinks that this is a uh people with a lot of money and resources and influence saying that i've done something wrong and saying that i'm causing problems when i'm not like it's only causing problems now because all these lies are being compounded in public and people are still trying to lie on camera and it's not working especially with things exploding around them and obvious abuse going on so uh you know again chris canetti their ceo was just fired but um and i want to point out stephanie gmj here wants to um Here in April. Hello everyone, Stephanie Yostin, this fake person. Um, Muse Dash. So Muse Dash and you know later on. Oh, Muse Dash and Avicii. And I say dash because the Houston Dynamo in the dash. So there's the dash and the dynamo. But you see, um, this is actual abuse going on and people actually trying to brag about their abuse and it's still going on in public. I mean, how could you actually pretend to have a society when this is actually going on? You can't. That's why their whole society is falling down around them and like they're having to make up and cause havoc and like pay people to go do bad stuff in public, which is a lot of the actual public events seem to be just bullshit that people are it being, you know, they say false flags, but it just seems like bullshit that is purposefully like the cameras are purposely being pointed at it instead of the obvious like this is the even the weather event is more dangerous than what these people are doing so like just the the average gust of wind is starting to be more or as dangerous you know if that that wind got a little higher in brazil it looks like it could have knocked the whole cafe off the uh mountain like in and, and it seems to be as the trailer was pulling out of there this is just a trailer, you know, of things to come, of how it's picking up. Again, it's just been hailing and raining constantly in the Middle East, so. Um, we got to pray for Brazil. What's going on here? I mean, aren't they having some kind of election or something? Pray for Brazil. We gotta Google Brazil now. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. This guy in Brazil who was stabbed. This uh, Brazilian presidency guy. Uh, I guess he just won. J Yair. I mean, that's. I mean, that's how I know about this guy. Is like that was. That was even covered on our news. Like, that's pretty intense to have that happen during a, you know, uh, like, your election cycle. That doesn't typically happen here in America, so. Uh, <laughs> All right, well. You know, there is judicial things, but again, if the judicial machine is being exerted over by people who are clearly just breaking the law to prove harassment points on me, then the whole machine falls apart, actually. That's why this is, you know, IA in public. Like, yeah, I'm doing this in public. I look at this. It's being done in public. I'm just existing in public, and people are abusing me. This cannot persist in any other way. So, IA, yeah. And again, you get your concept of truth and justice and all that from the Bible anyway. So uh, don't bullshit. 
everybody, don't bullshit. I'm clearly the one doing it by the book and getting things right here and fixing these obvious fallen natures and broken things in reality and fixing these scandals, scandal on, which have occurred. Okay, um, and that's how, you know, Revelation describes these scandals. Or at least one of these scandal on. All right, that's it. Anything else? Could be it for today. There still hasn't been a report for, a felt report for this offshore El Salvador. Though there's a 5.8 Iz Izu Island, Japan region 19 minutes ago. Oh, you can still see it on here, huh? It says 5.2. Right, so that was being felt like, you know, you can see it kind of light up around Tokyo there, I believe, right? So, and you can see the wave form being reported. And it should show up there, let's see, did it already do that in the past? Yeah, it looks like it, looks like it shows up somewhere in there, okay. Um, just wanted to point that out, let's look, because the 5.8 is pretty large, so, okay, 5.8. Lovelock, Nevada, Dillingham, Alaska, Hachijo, Jima, Japan, a 5.5, .5. and a 6.1, that's the one in El Salvador. Three fell reports, alright. Let's look at this, so this is, again... Chiyojima, Japan. And you can see they would feel that. I believe they would feel that in Tokyo. I mean, that 170 kilometers south south east of Chiyojima. So that's this island here. So, there's Tokyo. Alright. Ah, cloud formations again. There you go. Alright, that's it. This is going to be for the 28th, so... Um, what did this say, actually? 5.4 Japan, JMA. That's it. That's all. I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you have a blessed night. I hope you have a blessed one. Yeah.